What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Biggie290 Day coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And this is actually my second video of the day. I'm going to link to the first one down in the comment section, down in the description box. Please watch that video so that it doesn't get buried in the algorithm and hurt the channel if you can. Um, but I hope you enjoy this video as well. It's super exciting news. We finally have, after years of the first generation of PCs, we finally have the PC2. Yes, just a few days after Nintendo Switch decides not to make a Switch Pro, but instead makes a Switch with an upgraded screen, uh, the folks over at Steam decided to come up with a portable PC whose specs are, they're saying, about as powerful as an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4. Now, this portable PC is called the Steam Deck, and you can get it as cheap as, I, if I remember correctly, $400 for the 32 gig version. If you want to go all the way up to 256 gigs with a faster hard drive, you can spend as much as $649 for this device. So for what it is, it seems to be priced relatively well. When it comes to the design, uh, screen looks solid, a 7-inch screen. Uh, the button placements, including these pro buttons in the back, seem very decent. I do feel weird about that D-pad placement, but everybody that's used this so far seemed to like it. And it's got the two separate track pads that you can use to either simulate a mouse whenever you're playing a game that requires a mouse, or even use, they say, in first-person shooters if you want that kind of more detailed aiming. Starting at $399, you get the 64 version, 64 gig version with the eMMC. 529 will get you the 256 gig with an upgraded SSD, which is the one that I got. If you really want to splurge, you can get the $649 version with a 512 gigabyte. This has got some perks along with it. And they are saying portability, portability meets power here. It's a Zen 2 RDNA 2 powerhouse. I don't know too much about this, but they say... It's going to run most games in a portable 720p on decent settings, and that's going to be enough for me. It plays, they say, your entire Steam library, which I think is fantastic because I own a lot of games on Steam. And this is a big improvement of what we see in the other portable console uh, because it allows you to play all of your retro games that you bought years and years ago, as long as they work, presumably, with Steam OS. And then there's a few things here that they're not mentioning on the page that I think is pretty impressive. In the interviews, the developers are basically saying this is just a PC and you can do whatever you want to with it. Do you want to install Windows? You can. You want to, with that version of Windows, download the Epic Store uh, and you can play your games library there. Uh, if you want to download emulators for the Windows version, you absolutely can do that. It's got slots for peripherals, so you can hook it up to a monitor and a mouse and keyboard and use it as just a standard PC. It's got a dock that allows you to do that a little bit easier as well. I mean, this is, for all intents and purposes, just a small PC that also has a decent screen with a controller attached to it. It's, it's a win across the board, honestly. Now look, am I excited? Yes. Did I get my reservation in as soon as I could this morning? Yes, I've got it on pre-order. I can't wait to have it in hand and review it and play with it and enjoy my time with it 110%. However, even though I'm hyped as much as anybody else, I want to remind myself and you to temper your expectations. And let me show you why. Steam has tried to enter the hardware market many, many times, including using Steam OS on their Steam machines. They tried the Steam controller. They tried the uh, little thing that allowed you to pass through from your uh, PC to your television. And all of these have been good ideas, just not executed perfectly. There's a lot of different reasons that things like the Steam machine failed. Uh, and you can point to the fact that Valve made a few mistakes. Maybe they didn't market it well enough. Maybe the market just didn't want that type of thing. And the market clearly does want this. But it is entirely possible that Steam might make a mistake or two here. So be prepared to get burnt here if you're an early adopter be prepared to expect this first iteration of the machine to not be perfect I, that's something i really want you to understand steam is not a perfect company they don't do things perfectly the first time every time so if you're going to early adopt if you're going to spend 649 dollars on this temper your expectations I'm saying that to me because I'm super hyped. I'm ridiculously hyped. I can't wait to have my Steam library on the go in my hands. I don't even use Steam very much anymore because these days I've enjoyed relaxing my recliner with my puppy in my lap, playing video games on the big television using a controller. And this is going to give me the ability to do that again. 
And like, I'm so excited for that. I'm just, and even be able to play him on the seven inch screen, on the go, on a trip, on a plane. I just, wow, 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 wow. Now, we PC gamers are used to giving up on physical media, so that's not going to be a big issue for a lot of PC gamers who buy their games on Steam or the Epic Store anyway. Um, for the people who do like physical media, I don't see them giving up their Nintendo Switch coming over to this. But if they want to have PC gaming as an additional way to do it, this is a very affordable machine with very decent power that's also portable, which is something people who own the Switch are going to be used to. So I think you're going to see a lot of Switch users picking this up, and I think you'll see some PC users picking it up as well because they wouldn't mind having a portable machine as well as the machine they have at home. Valve also said when it came to the hardware that's inside here, they are taking a painful hit when it comes to the finances that it's much more powerful than they're charging you for so that they can get you to use a Steam OS and download it. Might be a mistake if you can treat it like a PC and do whatever the hell you want to do it. Um, but time will tell. I think a lot of Steam players will buy games on Steam once they have this in their hands. At the same time, I mean, crypto miners might be buying these up the day they come out so that they can use them to mine crypto in China. So that's also a concern. But I'm curious what you think, and I know you're gonna let me know in the comments section below. Uh, I'm super hyped about this. I've been waiting for the portable PC forever, and it's finally here. That's what I wanted my tablets to be. It's what I wanted my phones to be. And now I finally have it, and I can use it to play my video games, which is pretty much all I ever want to do. Having anxiety, it's so nice having that distraction in my hands and being able to just enjoy that, and whether I'm on a plane and nervous, or in a crowd and nervous, or even at a party and nervous, it allows me to just focus on something great, something relaxing, something fun. My presumption is that they will sell these out. Certainly, I know that I bought mine, and I bet you're probably going to buy yours too. But go into it with tempered expectations. Let's hope they get it right. But be prepared. They may not, and that's okay. That's okay. But I hope they do. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon. And yes, my shirt is on backwards. Thanks for noticing.